Hello, welcome to my channel today. Um, so I have been intrigued about this for quite a while, the world's smallest blower. And I have eventually invested in, in it. <laughs> and um, today's video is going to be testing this out. I'm going to make a um, painting and see how well it blows the inks around. So stay tuned. Okay, so first let's get this thing open. Um, hate when things are packaged like this, so be careful getting it out. Okay, so it is USB charged. I don't think there are any instructions. Nope. Um, it's USB charged and I think it has to be plugged in the entire time you're using it to make it work, um, which is probably going to be the only downside, having a cable uh, running across my work, but it is pretty good length to the cable, so that's good. Um, I noticed on here it shows that the nozzle part can come off, so maybe we'll test that as well to see. Um, if the wider nozzle or the thinner nozzle works better. But let's turn it on first and see. So I'm just going to plug it in. And it's got a simple little button here. Seems like it has pretty good pressure. Um, you press it to turn it on and then you press it again to turn it off so you don't have to hold it the entire time, which is nice. So yeah, I like that there's two, um, two widths to the nozzle because for me, I wonder if this um, would shoot more straight kind of um, trails of ink, whereas this might push more of the... Um, the liquid all in one go in a direction. So let me get started with a painting. Just going to use a piece of Yupo. I am going to put my mask on so I probably will record the voiceover later. Okay, so I have my Yupo ready and I'm going to be working with the Kelty inks. Um, I have two colors to start and then I'm also going to use the blending solution that comes with the Kelty inks as well, um, just to see how that works um, and uh, see what kind of movement we get with these ones. So this is a piece that I did um, previously and I want to try and create a similar effect. This was done with a lens blower and not um, this mini blower. So let's see if we can achieve something similar to that with the Kelty inks and our world's smallest blower. Okay, so put some ink and some blending solution down and here I go. And initially it moves really fast and as um, finding it hard to control, see I've got the uh, wispy bits going on there as well. So let's see if I can reactivate that with the blending solution and get a little bit more control. So I tried to um, get close to it very slowly um, to see if I had a bit more control, but seemed to be getting a lot of these wispies um, just kind of going off in whatever direction. Definitely don't feel like I have any control. You see that whiz off up there on the left hand side. So, so far, um, I realize it's going to take a bit of practice with this. Um, the nice thing is, I realize, is that the air is cool, which with my hair dryer or my brush um, dryer thing, it um, produces hot air, even with the cool setting on the hair dryer. It's not... Um, it's just too powerful, I guess. 
and too big of a nozzle as well. Um, so I'm getting used to it a little bit, but I do find that the ink is drying, the ink in the blending solution is drying really, really fast before I can get it to do what I want it to do. Um, definitely does not feel like I'm achieving the, um, the look of the sample piece that I showed you guys. So I'm trying with more ink and I get um, even less time to move it around. It's already dried. Um, and it goes in quite the direction directional uh, with that nozzle. So I've taken the end off, which is nice that you can, so it's slightly wider. So let's see if I get a bit of a better result with this. Sometimes I'm going right on top of the ink, um, sometimes behind it, just to see what movement I get. But see, that had dried already. I literally had barely any movement from it. So let's add some blending solution, see if I can get these two colors mixing together a little bit better. So I got a little bit more movement with the blending solution. It gave me a little bit more time, but still getting these random trails that I have no control over. They just go off in whichever direction they want to. And I don't feel like I'm kind of, you know, purposely doing that. So it might create a cool effect. Um, definitely but uh, I like being able to control that part, which I can with the lens blower. If you're not sure what the lens blower is, um, I will put a link in the comments below the video and um, you can have a look on Amazon of what I'm referring to. So I'm giving it a good go with these Kelty inks and the blending solution and just not quite getting what I want to happen. So I've had an idea. I'm going to try the isopropyl alcohol. I have 99.9% .9 to see if that works how I want it to with the inks to give me a little bit more um, drying time. It's obviously, um, I think it's the highest you can get in the isopropyl alcohol. Um, so there's no water added to it, but I just wonder if that blending solution is what's causing it to dry really, really fast. So. Let's have a go, drop that down and see if I can get this ink moving and blending together just a little bit more. Trying different techniques, going around in circles, going on top and then coming in from the side. You do have to work quite fast, that's what I'm finding with it. You have to move um, the blower around pretty quickly, but I think I'm liking the alcohol a little bit more. I'm starting to have a little bit more control. I think because it's not shooting off into its own wispy design. And um, yeah, I'm able to kind of go around and move it back and forth a little bit. So then I'm able to blend the two colors together, whereas before it was just kind of moving one direction and then dry. So I wasn't able to move it back and um, back and forth with the the air and get a nice blend on it. So just keep going with it. Yeah, it's definitely a little bit better with the alcohol. I'm starting to get a little bit more of a blend and a little bit more time to work with it. So I'm going to give you a little bit of a close up here. Let me zoom in there. So you can see how they're some soft bits and there's some edges as well which is quite nice versus on the left hand side where I've not touched it with the alcohol yet. On the right it's a lot more blended and um, just a little bit prettier than the right. It's just, uh, sorry the left, the left is just going off in whatever direction that it wants to. So I'm going to work my way across, see if I can get all of it, all these colors blending together. I'm trying to work really fast to move this ink around um, so that I have a little bit more control. So I'm starting to thin off those edges a little bit, see if I can get similar effect um, to what I had on that blue sample that I showed you guys at the beginning. 
yeah, it's definitely starting to work for me a little bit more. I'm starting to like this little blower. I think um, I'm going to enjoy this. And <laughs> it is a lot more nice to use than my lens blower because my forearm does tend to get a little bit tired because I use it quite a bit in the beginning of a painting. Even if I'm doing a landscape where it's a little bit more detailed, I always start a painting really loose. Um, just building up colors like this, blending them together, just getting a really nice design and then adding in the the details of the landscape a little bit more with brushes and things like that, which you can see on some of my other videos if you take a look. Um, I'm going to do a few more detailed uh, videos for you guys of landscapes, but um, it's just all time <laughs> and trying to fit that in, but I will try and get that um, to that for you guys. Okay, so I quite like how that's worked out. I want to try some different inks. I'm going to bring in the, um, I think the Ranger inks and Pinata. Um, depends on which colors I decide that I want to use. But I'm going to do something similar on the other side. So I've got Ranger Eggplant and Sailboat Blue. And I'm going to be using the Isopropyl Alcohol again. It's just what I prefer with my uh, my inks in general. I've tried the blending solution as you saw with the Kelty inks and didn't really love them and um, I've tried the blending solution with the Ranger brand and um, yeah it just kind of leaves a bit of a film on the top of the, the artwork for me and I just like how the alcohol blends with them. I'm just used to that a little bit more. But each to their own, I can understand why some people love the blending solution. Um, for me, it's also a little bit more expensive, so I try to stay away from it. Um, so I'm going to bring in the blower here, and I've put the nozzle back on just to see and give it a fair test, you know. <laughs> Do it both ways. So, um, yeah, you can see I'm getting a nice start, and I think it was to do with the alcohol rather than the the blower initially when I was getting it shooting off in all different directions I feel like I've still got some pretty good control with the the nozzle on the end of the smallest blower here getting some nice soft wispy bits there kind of like in the um, initial sample that I showed you guys so I'm gonna keep going with this so I've decided to speed up the video just a little bit um, because I think you get the gist of what I'm doing. It's just moving the inks around and seeing what happens. There is part way through I decide not to use the sailboat blue and I go in with the raspberry color. I am loving this side just a little bit more. I think it's the inks that I like more. The Kelty inks are definitely a little bit different in the way that they move and blend together. But yeah, I love that one. Um, so I decided to come into another piece. 
and try something else. Just to give it another go, um, I'm going to be working with the uh, Ranger inks again. I am going to have, a t have an attempt at doing a flower, but as you will see, it didn't quite come to plan. So I think I need a little bit more practice. So for any of you beginners out there that get frustrated, note that we've anyone that's getting a grasp of doing certain things, whether it's like wispy flowers or whatever kind of thing it is that they're working on, they've practiced with the tools that they have a lot. And as you can see, I am new to this tool and struggling to control it um, to create something specific. I got a really cool abstract thing on that previous piece, but it's definitely not going in the direction that I want it to. Um, keep trying to get control, but as you can see by the end of the video, I end up with just a really cool abstract piece. So that's another kind of lesson to learn too. Like just, if it doesn't work out, then just make it something else, you know, um, and try again on another piece. That's the nice thing about the inks, that they're always reworkable and you can always get something cool out of it. Might not be what you planned, but keep going, remove some ink, add some more ink, change the colors, move it around, and just try your something specific again another day. Um, so again, I'm going to speed this one up just a little bit so that um, it just shortens the video a little bit for you guys. Um,
So there you go. Even artists that have been using these inks for a long time, um, I've been using them for almost three years, um, we still have problems with them too because they are unpredictable. But um, I love playing with them and trying out new things. And in terms of the world's smallest blower, I will definitely recommend it. Um, again, it's just another tool in the box, which is awesome. And it may take a little bit of practice to perfect it, just like it did um, when I moved from the straw to the lens blower. This has a little bit more power. Um, it has really good power actually for blowing inks around. And I find that it, it's definitely um, good for, for the types of things that I do in my art. So if you have an opportunity, it's not too expensive. I'll put a link in the comments below of where you can buy it um, on Amazon. And yeah, I give it two thumbs up. So here's the two pieces that I have created. I'm quite looking forward to using this blower a little bit more um, after seeing the results of these side by side. I think there's definitely um, some good potential. So let me know how it goes for you if you end up buying it, if you love it or hate it, I'd love to know. And if you liked the video, please click subscribe and click on the bell so you don't miss any notifications of when my new ones are out. And I will see you guys next week.